Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of August 7, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell communication sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $59.27. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.68. Energy sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Valero Energy. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $53.12. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.97. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. AOG Resources is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of half a percent. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $48.2. In addition, we suggest to stop selling AOG resources if it is over 3.70% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, AOG resources has a striking price at $48. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.97 but we expect a possible put price at $2.34. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell American Express. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $96.29. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.87. BlackRock is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.0%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $586.59.
but we expect a possible sell price of $596.98. In addition, we suggest to stop selling BlackRock, if it is over 1.05% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, BlackRock has a striking price at $575. For this option, the actual put price is at $5.13 but we expect a possible put price at $4.96. MasterCard Incorporated was a previous top seller alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that MasterCard Incorporated is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $323.33, but we expect a possible buy price of $317.64. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $336.69, unless is overvalued. On the put option table, MasterCard Incorporated has a striking price at $320. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.89, but we expect a possible put price at $1.54. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Crown Castle. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $165.55. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.86. American Tower was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that American Tower is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $260.18, but we expect a possible sell price of $265.49. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $255.62, unless is undervalued. On the call option table, American Tower has a striking price at $265. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.98, but we expect a possible call price at $0.45. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Gilead Sciences. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $71.75. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.12. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Biogen Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 7.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $295.42. For put option, a possible put price is at $4.51. Pfizer Incorporated is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $38.26. But we expect a possible sell price of $39.09. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Pfizer Incorporated if it is over 0.95% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Pfizer Incorporated has a striking price at $38. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.28, but we expect a possible put price at $0.19.
Industrial Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Material sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell DuPont Dynamores. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 4.6%. You may sell at a minimum price of $55.15. For put option, a possible put price is at 1. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of discretionary sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.1%. You may sell at a minimum price of $200.81. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.94. Tesla Incorporated is a mild B suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $1,460.77, but we expect a possible buy price of $1,431.9. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Tesla Incorporated if it is below 6.50% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Tesla Incorporated has a striking price at $1,475. For this option, the actual call price is at $30.18, but we expect a possible call price at $32.7. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of Staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Kraft Heinz company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.9%. You may sell at a minimum price of $34.82. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.34. PepsiCo Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of half a percent. You may expect now a sell return of half a percent. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $136.71, but we expect a possible sell price of $138.12. In addition, we suggest to stop selling PepsiCo Incorporated if it is over 1.60% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, PepsiCo Incorporated has a striking price at $135. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.67 but we expect a possible put price at $0.57. Technology Sector ETF was the previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Technology Sector ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. 
you may expect now a sell return of 3.1%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $110.2. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $116.17, unless it's overvalued. On the put option table, Technology Sector ETF has a striking price at $113. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.11 but we expect a possible put price at $0.99. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 12.3%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $40.12. For call option, a possible call price is at $0.37. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Hewlett Packard. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $17.93. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.08. Activision Blizzard is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 1.8%. You may expect now a buy return of 6.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $84.54, but we expect a possible buy price of $82.07. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Activision Blizzard, if it is below 2.60% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Activision Blizzard has a striking price at $84. For this option, the actual call price is at $1.12, but we expect a possible call price at $1.45. Hewlett Packard was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Hewlett Packard is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.6%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $17.86. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $18.47, unless it's overvalued. On the put option table, Hewlett Packard has a striking price at $18. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.1, but we expect a possible put price at $0.08. Oracle Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Oracle Corporation is a bear high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.0%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $55.8, but we expect a possible sell price of $56.7. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $54.06, unless it's undervalued. On the call option table, Oracle Corporation has a striking price at $56.5. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.16, but we expect a possible call price at $0.03. Salesforce Company is a weak buy suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 3.2%. You may expect now a buy return of 5.5%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $202.89, but we expect a possible buy price of $199.18. In addition, we suggest to stop buying Salesforce Company, if it is below 5.45% of your stock price trade. On the call option table, Salesforce Company has a striking price at $205. For this option, the actual call price is at $2.12, but we expect a possible call price at $2.47. Western Digital was a previous stop-by alternative. 
Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Western Digital is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.5%. You may expect now a buy return of 12.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $41.54. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $35.96, unless it's undervalued. On the call option table, Western Digital has a striking price at $38. For this option, the actual call price is at $0.42, but we expect a possible call price at $0.37. Communication Sector ETF was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Communication Sector ETF is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 3.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $58. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $62.07, unless it's overvalued. On the put option table, Communication Sector ETF has a striking price at $60. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.05 but we expect a possible put price at $0.68. Let's look at the stocks table of communications. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $112.53. For put option, a possible put price is at $0.79. Verizon Communications is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.2%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $58.41, but we expect a possible sell price of $58.97. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Verizon Communications, if it is over 0.65% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Verizon Communications has a striking price at $57.5. For this option, the actual put price is not available but we expect a possible put price at $0.15. Utility Sector ETF is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.7%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $60.99 but we expect a possible sell price of $61.13. In addition, we suggest to stop selling utility sector ETF, if it is over 2.15% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, utility sector ETF has a striking price at $61. For this option, the actual put price is at $0.43, but we expect a possible put price at $0.72. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $284.21. For put option, a possible put price is at $4.44. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.